हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू अनादर एपिसोड फॉर एजेंट फोर्स फॉर एवरी वन इन दिस एपिसोड वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द इम्पॉर्टेंट एजेंट फोर्स सेटिंग्स विच वी शुड नेवर मिस दीज आर ऑल द सेटिंग्स विच कैन बी हेल्पफुल फॉर अ कस्टमर वाइल इंटरेक्टिंग टू द एजेंट ऑन अ डेली बेसिस सो लेट्स लुक एट दो सेटिंग्स वट आर दो सेटिंग्स हाउ वी कैन चेंज दो सेटिंग्स बट बिफोर लेट मी गो टू द कम्युनिटी टू सी माई एजेंट सो फॉर दैट आई हैव अ कॉन्टैक्ट रिकॉर्ड which has a customer community enabled and i am now going to log in to the experience site where i have my agent force service agent deployed so this is my agent now i will say some subject test and i will start the conversation so now if you notice our agent force service agent has joined and it gives us a welcome message now If I ask this agent something, let's say, could you please convert five fifty GBP to INR? Let's say I'm just asking this agent to convert a currency from GBP to INR. And if I say enter, so now if you notice, we got this response, but there was a slightly delay. and sometimes whenever custom actions or whenever the external resources takes time so we 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 don't know and we are not sure when this agent is going to respond back so for that we are going to change some settings so that the agent will respond in a very attractive way and then we should see whether the agent is actually responding and typing something so for that i am going to show you all the required settings now so for that we need to go to setup and we need to search for embedded service deployments because with the help of embedded service we deployed our agent to the community and if you look at this there are some settings so if i go to edit settings so these are all the settings available now let's discuss each setting deeply so for that let me zoom in so first it says show delivery receipts and show read receipts this is basically useful when the customer is not interacting with the agent but mainly interacting with the live human agent so we will also see let me enable those settings and we will also see how the customer and the live human agent will see whether the messages has been delivered and read by the either party then we have show typing indicator so this is very helpful the whenever the agent is going to respond something we will see that the agent is actually typing just like we see in our whatsapp and facebook channels then we have show emoji keyboard I don't think this is useful but let's activate this and we will see. Then we have press enter return to start a new line of text. This is already enabled. I'll keep this enabled. This is something if you if if the setting is enabled, so whenever you hit enter, instead of sending the message to the agent, it will give you a next line so that if you have a big prompt and you want to type something which is bigger and in different different lines and different paragraphs, so that means this setting is very useful. Then we do have terms and conditions. So term show terms and conditions in pre-chat. just like we have a pre chat form which is collecting customer information first name last name email subject so then we can also show our some terms and conditions in the form of a url how we can build that url which i will show you so that will gives us gives a user the customer a url please uh, they can visit the url and they can see all of their terms and conditions before actually start the conversation with the agent then we do have require users to accept terms and conditions before chatting so there will be a checkbox if we enable this there will be a checkbox at the end of the pre chat form without accepting the user won't be able to start the conversation with the agent so i think this is also a very important setting then we can set some business hours uh, this is the link where you can actually go and create your business hours so that the agent will only available at that time uh, i'm going to skip this uh, and then i will rest save everything so your deployment settings were saved and now let's talk about the terms and conditions url how we can build that url so for that there is a custom label section if we go to the custom labels and our language is english if we choose the chat group so there are a couple of options in the chat group you can explore uh, all the options later but for now i will choose pre chat because i would like to show the url on the pre chat form then the label group i will say terms and conditions there are other uh, things as well drop down values pre chat form i will choose terms and conditions and then the label type should be standard so i have already set up some terms and conditions label so this terms and conditions will be showable to the user and this is the hyperlink which i have provided in the background so whenever they click on the terms and conditions they will redirect it to this url i don't have any url so i just provided my linkedin url but how to set this 
to set this placeholder you need to type the text which you want to display to the customer so for example i would like to display the text let's say test and then my url will be let's say http as uh, let's say login dot salesforce dot com so this is the placeholder is created for you so you just need to click copy and then paste your data here i am not going to do that because i don't want to display a salesforce login page instead i will display the uh, my linkedin uh, url and then this is the terms and conditions which will be displayed to the user so let's see i will just close this i'm not going to change anything because i have already done that so these are all the settings which we have enabled uh, just double check everything is active yes and cancel and now uh, i will publish my embedded service once published it takes couple of seconds so i'm just waiting for the email to confirm that all the changes are done and meanwhile i will go back to the community and then i will do a refresh uh, i'll just remove all the cache and a uh, hard reload so if i launch my uh, agent again so now you can see uh, the page chat form is changed and it looks very nice so we have first name last name email populated already now let's say i choose the subject uh, uh, anything uh, test data and uh, this is something which we need to uh, which the customer needs to be accepted before starting the conversation if they click start it won't let the customer uh, enter into the chat and then this is the terms and conditions link if i click on the link i am successfully able to navigate to the provided url so i will just close this and then i will accept this so once done then i can go and start the conversation so as soon as i start the conversation if you notice we saw that the agent for service agent is actually typing now i don't like this name agent for service agent because this is something really a big name so i will go and change the name as well i will choose some good handy name so for that i'm going to agents and this is my agent for service agent i will open in builder i first deactivate the agent in order to do any changes go to settings and i will change the name now what name should i give some handy name let's say okay i will give the name of my youtube channel salesforce cody and then i will i will i won't be able to change the api name which is fine because we don't want to uh, change it uh, we just want to change the label which is displayed on the ui so let's save and activate cool i will close this i will close this and i will again end the chat and i will reload this cool if i start so i will let's say test data accepted the terms and condition start conversation so now you can see uh, the name has changed and it actually shows that the salesforce cody is typing and we got the welcome message now let me show you something more which is more nicer uh, let's say if i ask the salesforce cody could you please convert 50 gbp to inr now let's see how this salesforce cody is going to respond because this instruction is going to call a custom action which is going to call an external api which is going to convert everything and then we are getting the response so this might take a couple of seconds i can say one or two seconds so let's see how it will respond so if i say enter yeah so now you see when i enter i i'm not going to send this instruction to the agent it is basically going to the new line which is really good if you want to type something more you can press enter and then you can type but definitely you can disable the setting if you don't if you don't want this uh for that i'll just hit this enter button and now the salesforce code is responding now because i have a uh, authentication enabled that i need to provide my username in order to perform any currency conversion so for that i am going to enter my username which i have already copied uh, let's say this enter now it is again responding so now it says uh, we have sent a verification code uh, let me check if i got the verification code yeah i got the verification code so if i copy and paste and now enter now this is the main part as soon as i enter it is going to call the external api and convert the amount so let's see how much time it will take and how it will going to respond so salesforce code is responding it's verified successfully and now it's converting see it's it is basically typing word by word which is nice i, I know it's very fast because uh, we don't see everything in one go but it is really cool that the agent is responding in a very interactive manner so this is how these settings are very useful right now uh, let's see some other settings where if i ask this agent can you transfer this to the live human agent and then the customer will actually see when the live human agent is getting the messages delivered read or not so let's see 
For that, I am going to open the service console. I have an omni channel. If I make the omni channel available, yes. And let me split the screen so I can show. And let me do this. Yeah, so this split is good. Yeah, so let's say, could you please transfer this chat to the live agent question mark and enter now it salesforce code is responding it is now successfully transferred the chat to the live agent and the agent itself left so let, let me accept this conversation so now it says ankit ji has joined because i am the person who is pre pretending as a live agent and this is my messaging channel messaging session record we have talked a lot about the messaging session in our previous episodes so now let's see the magic now as soon as the live agent is going to type something the customer will actually see that the ankit ji is typing so let's say if i just type hello so you see as soon as i type hello i can see that the agent is typing and if i say enter yes it says the customer has read this conversation now the same way if i say hey and it should also so you see uh, the guest is also typing so if i say hey it says sent, delivered and read. I mean, it was so fast, you might have not noticed, but it says sent, delivered and read because the live agent has also read the conversation. So this is very helpful uh, when you have a customer who is interacting to the live agent and even itself with the AI agent so that they can see the agent is actually responding and then the live agent is actually sitting on the desk and reading those messages very fast. Um, I think that's uh, these are all the settings which I just need to show you. Uh, because this is really worth it to uh, invest time and uh, enable all those settings so that the customer can nicely interact with the agents and with the live agents uh, that's all for this uh, this is a small video uh, that's all for it if you have any questions any doubt uh, feel free to reach out to me on linkedin and uh, i will see you in some uh, i will see you in the another episode with some great use cases of agent force thank you so much thanks for watching take care